Mike Lindell, the CEO of Makelo and a close ally to former President Donald Trump, suffered a significant legal setback recently. The United States Supreme Court refused to hear his appeal related to having his phone seized by the FBI as part of a vote tampering investigation. Lindell, who is embroiled in multiple lawsuits that have drained his company of cash, had asked the court to take a look at a ruling made last September. He attempted to make the case that his constitutional rights were infringed when he was ordered to hand over his phone while sitting in the drive through in a Minnesota Hardee's. However, the Supreme Court decided not to review the earlier ruling. This decision by the Supreme Court is a significant blow to Lindell. It highlights the challenges he faces in his ongoing legal battles, particularly those related to his claims about the 2020 election. Despite this setback, Lindell can still seek permission directly from the Court of Appeal. This legal battle has drawn significant attention, given Lindell's high-profile status and his controversial claims about the 2020 election. It also raises important questions about the nature of security and protection for public figures, particularly those who have stepped back from official duties. The outcome of this legal battle could have far-reaching implications, not just for Lindell and his family, but also for other members of the royal family and public figures more broadly. It brings into focus the balance between public interests and personal safety and the responsibilities of the state in providing security for individuals who, by virtue of their public status, may be at risk. In conclusion, while Justice Thomas's absence from the bench is notable and somewhat mysterious given the lack of an official explanation, it does not mean he is not participating in the important work of the court. It serves as a reminder of the human element in our judicial system and the fact that the justices, like all of us, can be affected by unforeseen circumstances. As always, it's important to stay tuned to official news sources for the most accurate and up-to-date information.